hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in today's video we are going to discuss about the sixth layer of the OSI model which is the presentation layer okay so in the previous video we discussed about the session layer the fifth layer of the OSI model so now we'll discuss about the sixth layer of the OSI model which is the presentation layer so first let us discuss some basic concepts related to presentation layer so the presentation layer it controls two aspects of the data exchange between the communicating systems and those two aspects are syntax and semantics so what is syntax and semantics okay <coughs> Syntax is the structuring or arrangement of the data or information in an ordered way. Okay, in which manner the data will be arranged. Okay, for example, what will appear first, whether it is header or trailer. So, the logical arrangement of the data bits, first header, then data bits, then if necessary trailer that is governed by the presentation layer mostly it is first header information then data then trailer that is the conventional way so that is done by the presentation layer that is governed by the presentation layer next is the semantics so semantics uh, refers to uh, they add logical meaning to the data or information. The, uh, for example, in a way, they add context, okay, to the data. Okay, they add contextual meaning to the data, which gives us some logic for what purpose the data is sent and why it is important. Okay, whether the nature of the data is an image whether it is uh, alphabets numbers whether it is uh, audio video or anything okay so semantics add logical meaning to the data or information so the functions of the presentation layer okay the various functions of the presentation layer so the first important function of the presentation layer is translation so why translation is important in data communication and computer networking is now various types of devices nodes systems are used in today's world okay they are manufactured by different com companies they have different uh, operating systems various application programs with various features so for example a device with operating system 1 okay operating system 1 has to communicate with a device with operating system 2 or a device with an upgraded operating system an upgraded uh, features has to communicate with a device with uh, the old technology okay in that case translation comes into play which is done by the presentation layer okay it allows different devices with different features operating systems application features or upgraded features to communicate with one another okay it allows interoperability of the various computer systems so what it does is that in the process of data exchange be it anything numbers alphabets image audio video process application uh, anything what it does is that the presentation layer at the sender side okay the device which is transmitting data or information the presentation layer at the sender side converts that data 
from the sender supported format okay the format in which it is supported in the sender's device into a common format okay so in the process of communication let's say this is device 1 or computer 1 the device supported format okay the format which is supported by device 1 the presentation layer converts first it into a common format a common format then the presentation layer at the receiver side okay device number 2 converts it into the format which is supported by device 2 okay the presentation layer at the receiver side converts the common data format into the receiver supported format okay the format in which it is supported by the receiver so this allows different systems to communicate with one another having various uh, diverse features operating systems upgraded features or old technology even so in this way when device 2 is transmitting the presentation layer at the device 2 converts the device 2 supported format the data in the format which is supported by device 2 into a common format again it converts the common format the presentation layer at device 1 into device 1 supported format okay so this is how the translation feature works. Next uh, feature is encryption and decryption. So encryption and decryption, it uh, generally involves converting a simple data into a coded form, okay, to maintain secrecy. So this is generally done when uh, sharing sensitive confidential information over the internet encryption decryption process is used so encryption converts the simple data into coded form decryption performs the reverse process that is it converts the code into the original data okay so here another concept of uh, a key which is used the code which is used it is called as the cipher that also comes into play so there another subject can be taught on this topic which is called as cryptography so we will not uh, go into that for now just understand that presentation layer performs encryption and decryption okay converting simple data into coded form and again coded data into simple original form next task performed by the presentation layer is compression so compression generally is used to reduce the size of the data okay for easier transmission without uh, exploiting uh, large portion of the transmission the bandwidth of the channel so it is done by reducing the number of bits in the data without compromising with the quality of the data okay so that uh, is called as uh, data compression so this is uh, the process of encryption and decryption okay so the sender's device converts the original data into coded form and using a cipher and again at the receiver side the coded data is again converted into original data this process is called encryption at the left hand side and this process is called as decryption next we have is the uh, data packet structure in the presentation layer as usual it consists of two portions first is the header portion which is used for identification of uh, the sender and receivers address and uh, H stands for header 6 because it is the sixth layer of the OSI model and this is the data bits the data which is to be transmitted so again there is a the arrow heads are in both direction because uh, the data transmission and reception in OSI model is both in, is bidirectional both from sender to receiver and from receiver to sender top to down bottom to top so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to presentation layer okay starting from the basic functions of the presentation layer that is controlling the syntax and semantics then the various functions of the presentation layer such as translation then uh, encryption and decryption to maintain secrecy of confidential data and then is compression data compression okay 
the so these are some of the basic things related to presentation layer so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much